This is a review for the Roborock Q5 Max and Q5 Max Plus. The Q5 Max Plus comes with an auto empty dock and compatible dustbin, while the Q5 Max does not. Otherwise, the two robots are identical. The Q5 Max replaces the now discontinued Q5 as the cheapest Roborock robot vacuum on the market. We previously recommended the Q5 as the best robot vacuum at its price point. Will the Q5 Max follow suit? Let's take a look. The Q5 Max's airflow was measured at 16 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.14 kPa. These are both improvements over the Q5. The Q5 Max features two all-rubber brush rolls, while the Q5 only had one bristled brush roll. This design change had little to no impact in most of our tests though. In our carpet stress test, the Q5 Max picks up more debris than most competitors from other brands after a single pass and gets an almost perfect clean after a second pass. This is an above average result and a very similar result to that of the Q5. In our carpet deep clean test, the Q5 Max picked up seven grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. That is on default power. On maximum power, it picked up eight grams of debris. Both results are better than average. Its default power result is one gram better than that of the Q5. Its maximum power result matches the Q5s. Moving on to our hard floor stress test, the Q5 Max once again matches the Q5's excellent performance in this test. It picks up more debris than most competitors from other brands after a single pass and gets a better clean overall than most competitors after multiple passes. It also paths sufficiently close to the edge to pick up edge debris very well. Like most other robots we've tested, including the Q5, the Q5 Max did not perform very well in our crevice test, though it does pick up slightly more debris from the crevice than the Q5 on maximum power. In our human hair pickup test, the Q5 Max picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush rolls and had to be cleaned off manually. This is a fairly average result though, and the same result as that of the Q5. Like the Q5, the Q5 Max performed much better in our pet hair pickup test. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. Moving on to navigation, we tested the Q5 Max's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, it first paths around the perimeter of the room. It then starts a very efficient row by row cleaning pattern in the bottom right corner of the room. It first paths in horizontal rows and then paths in vertical rows. It does well to get complete coverage over the whole room and move in a crisscross cleaning pattern to ensure the highest probability of picking up especially stubborn debris. Most competitors also get good coverage, though most only path in one direction, either vertically or horizontally, not in both directions like you see here. In our clutter room testing, the Q5 Max again starts the run pathing around the perimeter of the room. It then starts cleaning around all of the obstacles in the room. Overall, it paths very precisely and efficiently with good redundant coverage across all areas of the room. Its performance in both navigation tests matches that of the Q5 and exceeds that of most other competitors on the market. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Roborock Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the Q5 Max's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the Q5 Max an average size robot vacuum. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The Q5 Max picks up surface level debris on carpet and hard floors very well. It gets sufficiently close to edges to pick up edge debris very well, and it deep cleans carpet very well for a robot vacuum. It also navigates much better than most competitors at its price point, and it has above average battery life, above average bin size, and relatively low noise output. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, like most competitors, the Q5 Max does tangle very easily with long hair. It also can't mop. It's not even compatible with a basic mop attachment. When it comes to general recommendations, the Q5 Max is a definite improvement over the Q5. It has more power, it deep cleans better on default power, it cleans crevices better on maximum power, and it has a much larger dustbin. The Q5 was the best robot vacuum we tested at its price point back in 2023. 
we now recommend the Q5 Max as the best budget option in 2025. See the description of this video for a link to buy this robot and for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.